Health savings accounts were enacted by Congress in late 2003, and the intent of the health savings account is to give individuals who have high deductible health insurance plans an opportunity to use a tax-advantaged account to pay for out-of-pocket medical expenses. It's an important innovation, and it's important uh, from the sense of giving customers a, some choices in how they select their medical care. Originally, in the early years of the health savings account, the adoption rate was fairly low. As late as 2005, only about 4% of employers offered uh, a health savings account to their, to their employees. And uh, the self-employed or individual market, very few people actually knew about it, so very few people actually opened HSAs themselves. Uh, today, however, uh, corporate adoption is much more widespread. About a third of companies now offer them, and the amount of assets has mushroomed significantly. As yet, most of the assets in health savings accounts are in the form of cash. They're not invested in securities, at least not yet. Only about an eighth of the total HSA balances right now are invested in stocks or bonds, but that too is changing. And I think uh, based on what's going to happen in the very near future in terms of uh, medical care reform, re possible repeal and replacement of Obamacare, you're going to see a much more widespread usage of health savings accounts as the country moves from a co-payment model to a high deductible model.